Scripps Coast Reserve has been in existence since 1965 when the reserve system was established. But this portion, fondly called the Knoll, um, only um, was acquired in um, about 1980 as a result of some land um, swaps and um, reorganization. And it had a probationary period of 20 years during which um, it was determined that the site was in fact valuable for research and teaching. So now it's a permanent part of the statewide natural reserve system. The site is basically used um, by students from the nearby campus. They can just walk here during a short lab period. Um, and also by the public. Um, tens of thousands of members of the public come every year. And as a result of increasing popularity, maybe of the restriction of the um, outdoor sites in the local vicinity. We um, have a lot of problems with, um, with foot traffic actually having an impact. So the trail has widened significantly and there's down cutting. So we're trying to keep people on the main trail. Um, but the functional, ecological functions of the site remain intact. There is almost continuous habitat that we'll see when we go out here a little bit further along the cliffs connecting us to Torrey Pines to the north and south through parts of the campus including Skeleton Canyon and along the bluffs and we have a sort of tenuous connection to Mount Soledad that way and the open spaces there. So that's probably why this um, site still supports a huge diversity of birds. You can see that plants are establishing themselves as a result of some drought years during which they gained um, superiority over invasive grasses. This is really exciting because it means that recovery out here is possible.